The question that every developer tends to ask themselves when building an application or working on some piece of software is if they should make it open sourced or closed sourced. And you know, some people say to open source the project and some people say to close source the project, but most people are indifferent about it. And so what I like to do in this video is just lay out the benefits of both open source projects and open sourcing your apps and the benefits of closed sourcing your apps because there's a lot of benefits to both. And yeah, with that being said, please like and subscribe. It costs you nothing and it means the world to me. And you're already watching by now, so why not? Not, and let's get into it. And so first things first, okay, what is open source? You know, you're usually surprised, but not a lot of people can like give you a good definition of what this is. Let me get out my good boy here, little GitHub. And also what we should ask ourselves is what is closed source, right? These are the questions we need to ask ourselves. And you know, the formal definition or at least my bro science type definition of open source is code to software that is public. Essentially, you build an app and other people can see what that code is and how you built it. And now on the other hand, right, the definition, which is obvious, right, what the definition of closed source is, is that the code to the software is private, if I could spell private. And if you want to know examples of both, let's just, you know, I guess do it. Dub.co, it's an open source project, beautiful, best looking project out there. It's open source. You can go here, you can say, huh, how did they build out the grid background to this app? Then you can just go to their GitHub repository, which is probably somewhere down here. Uh, click on this and you could just see how they build the application. On the other hand, something like Calendly.com, which is a really cool application, but you just don't know how they built this because you don't have the code to check it out. So just two, you know, simple examples. I know that you probably already know what this is, but I just wanted to explain everything before getting into it. And so firstly, let's get into the benefits of open sourcing your software. Okay, I've done this for most of my apps. My starter kit is going to be public. My uh, my platform is public. And I only think I only have a couple that are closed sourced, but most of them are. And at least what, from what I've noticed, here is like the benefits of it. First things first, I think this is pretty obvious, but you get help from community. And I think this is the main selling point for having your app as open sourced. And when developing your apps and getting into development, especially as a new developer, probably are not working at a company. And what open source will provide you with is because you made your app public, people are more attracted to helping you out with the project. So you get help with building stuff that you usually wouldn't have if you did it on your own. And the main benefits of this and getting the help from people is A, you're probably gonna build stuff that you couldn't do on your own. You're gonna be able to solve bugs faster because there's more minds there and you're going to learn a lot quicker as a new developer because you have more minds on the project and let's say you're working on a feature you don't know how to do it you ask someone that's helping you with the project they're maybe like a senior developer they're able to do it real quick and now you know how to do it and you have the feature on your app and i think the main selling point for the community and getting the help is just faster development it's so freaking fast making my platform like niziabi.com public has been one of the craziest experiences because there's just so many talented people that have helped me out on this project. Another cool benefit of open sourced is transparency and trust. At least what I've noticed when I'm working on open source software or, or I'm using open source software as like a user, um, I tend to trust the application more since it's public. If you've ever used something like OBS, which is a streaming software that it's like, if you ever watch like Twitch, it's the software they used to record. That's what most people use. Although it, there's a lot of private software, most people use OBS because it's safer, um, the code is public, and of course it's a good piece of software. And look, it's probably not a big amount because most users don't really care like that, but you will probably get a good chunk of people outside of just the, the development space that really care if your app is safe. And you know who I'm talking about, right? It's usually the people that are against Apple, they don't wanna use Google, that type of mold of person that doesn't like that. And since the code is public, people feel more comfortable, um, especially if they can read code using it because everything is there for them to see. They know that you're not tracking weird data or doing something to like take their information. Another cool benefit of open sourced is the fact that you can get more users quickly. And here's what I mean by this. Let's say you have a project, right? Like I'm gonna make my Nizi starter kit public, which is this one over here. It's basically a SaaS template starter kit. And because it's open sourced, people have another avenue of getting to my application. So usually on a closed sourced app, right? The user can just access it through the web. They search up the application, they go to it. But what open source project will allow you to do is since you have a whole different field of people 
accessing your app, which is developers, you have another streaming way or like you can call like a funnel to go to your app, which is through GitHub. In addition, more likely than not, open source software is going to be free, though you can have paid open source software. That's not a problem. More people are going to gravitate to your app because it's free and it's open sourced. And again, that type of mold of person is going to want to join. So you have both the benefit of more people accessing it through GitHub. In addition, you have more people going to your app because it's free. And I think if you're like a new developer or you want to just test out an idea, this is so, so, so cool. And you can really get validation on an idea or see if the application will work or people like the app in general through this method. And the final main benefits of open source that I've at least noticed is the respect you get from the community. And I know from a business perspective, you know, you're developing applications for users. The level of respect you will have in the development space for making your apps public or at least part you know some of your apps public is really 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 cool and beneficial and something i didn't really know before making most of my applications public like the starter kit and the platform and the dashboard and email and stuff like that which i've posted all online i wouldn't say i wasn't respected or like anything like that but i've definitely noticed that people are nicer to me i guess you could say because i made some things public and I, obviously it's because we're humans and we like people helping us. And by making the applications public, you're helping other people. But other developers are going to give you thanks and they're going to really appreciate that you're contributing to the community. And I literally saw this firsthand. I I, I went to dub.co, right? I found this open source software. And now whenever someone, there's some guy in Met that he's uh, he owns dub.co and I guess it's a team, but he works for them. And instantly I just respected him because, you know, it's such a cool software and it's such a helpful piece of software and you just really appreciate it. And I think if you're considering open sourcing and you want to gain that either audience or respect from the community, which, you know, you really want, um, I think open sourcing is the version for you and is the option for you. But right, we have a whole other side that I think we need to talk about. You know, a lot of people will talk about just open source and say, this is the benefits of open source and why you have to open source. But no, there's actually closed sourced, which maybe has just as many benefits. And I wanted to talk about that. And I think the first main and the biggest advantage of closed source is the competitive advantage you have, advantage if I can spell that, over others. You see, since your code is gonna be closed and is not accessible to a lot of people, then you obviously have a competitive advantage, right? For example, let's say we can go to Calendly.com here. Let's say I am, I'm a, I'm a developer. I wanna develop a scheduling app where you know people can go in and schedule a time to talk to you or book meetings. I cannot just go to Calendly look through how they built this and just copy it and change it up to how I want it to. It's closed sourced. They only have access to their own code. And I think this is the main like loss of open sourced where you'll really see the downside if you're like you're in a competitive business or there's like a very saturated market. And by closed sourcing your app, you don't get the downsides of open sourced and you get all the benefits of having something that your competitors will not have because you built something that they cannot. And I think if you're developing a business or you wanna charge for something, or you have some product that you know that a lot of people cannot build, then open sourcing is just not it. And I think closed source is the right option here. In addition, another main benefit of closed source is that you can monetize and everything here, I believe most of the options here will stem off of that you have an advantage. Since you have an advantage of having a piece of software that other people cannot build, you can monetize it and charge for its usage. This example will make sense in a second, but let's say there's a river right by your house, okay? Um, before it was accessible to everyone, all the people in the village could like go there, can fish, and you know, everyone has fish. By that notion, right? If everyone can fish and they have fish, then you yourself would probably not be able to charge for that fish that you have because everyone has it, right? But imagine, right, you become a dictator of the village and you say, that river is mine. No one can have access to that. What you can do is you can start benefiting and charging for those fish because not everyone has access to that fish, right? Since everything is not accessible, you can charge whatever you want or you know reasonably whatever you want for your product. And although open source can make you a lot of money, you're more likely to make it here. Now, another benefit of closed source is the reduced risk of hacks. Now, I know you're probably saying, Nizar, didn't you just say that you know, you have transparency and trust here. Very different things, okay? In terms of open versus closed sourced, since the app or the code cannot be seen in the closed sourced, you're probably less likely to get caught in terms of vulnerabilities. You know, like maybe in the open source, you maybe accidentally showed your API key once and someone finds it. In closed source, it's not that likely. And I know in both cases, you probably have the chance of getting hacked. 
but in terms of open source, you're more likely to get hacked in my opinion. And I know this was a short one, but the last benefit and main benefit of closed sourced is the full direction you have and full control you have on the direction of the company and the code, thus leading to either, you know, more likely better software, but you know what I mean. And I'll mix these together because it makes more sense in a second. But basically, when you're the only person or you run your company and it's closed sourced, you yourself will have full direction of where the code goes. In open source, that's not the case. Um, since there's probably a lot of people contributing to the to a repository, there's not many directions you can take it. You know, maybe different people have different goals with the application, so they make a lot of pushes that maybe you don't want, and it just leads to a lack of unity on like reaching a goal. Instead, when you are the only person running the software or you have the choice of running the software, then you yourself can dictate where the code goes. If you want to add a specific feature, then only you can build it and only you have the authority to take the app where you want it to go. And I think if you have like a really cool idea or you're building something special, then um, it's just an awesome thing, especially if you know what you do, it's really special. And in addition, right, I added better software here. I don't know why it just lead to four and four, but since you can monetize it, you can probably build better software because you can hire better engineers to build stuff. And I think that's a real, real benefit of it. And because let's say you have an app that you're charging, I don't know, you're making, let's say 8K a month from, um, you can hire top notch developers that you can use the money from the monetization to pay for those engineers, right? And I just don't think you can do this in the open source, especially if it's free. You can't take any money and, and get good developers in. But yeah, just make more money, full direction, amazing. But yeah, these are just the main benefits of the open source and closed sourced. And you're probably still confused on what to choose. So here's a good frame of mind on how to approach this when picking if you should open source or closed source. If you're a new developer, okay, you're brand new, you're building simple software, or you're building something that is going to be free, but especially if you're new, then I recommend you open source. You will learn so much faster and you will improve the software so much if you get help from the community, you expose yourself to helping other people, you get the help of other people that really wanna help you make better software. On the other hand, if you're building something that you wanna charge for or you know expect to make a lot of money it's a one-of-one -one product where you you know that the market will not be able to build it it's some piece of software that's like you think will make a lot of money and you don't want other people seeing the code then i think closed sourced is your option but i think either one if you pick one you know even if you're it's a one-on-one -on -one and you want to open source i still think that's okay it's not that big of a deal but i think generally new developer open sourced more experienced developer that wants to charge for money it's more business oriented than closed sourced if you like the video then please like the video it would really go a long way if you want to check out my learning platform where we build really cool stuff then i'll leave that down below to the Abbey platform you will love it and yeah if you like this video then check out the video on the screen happy coding and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye